today is Sunday, September the uh, 30th. We're watching one of the uh, first bands of uh, moisture moving into Southern California. This is from Hurricane Rosa, Category 1 system. It's still off of Baja. It's moving north at about you know, 13 miles per hour. And uh, that storm was a Category 4 just a couple of days ago. Very strong storm, 140 mile per hour winds. The 940 millibar central pressure. It's been knocked down the last two days using uh, the satellite transmitter technology to superheat the, the uh, center of that storm. Off in the distance, we can see uh, on the horizon, we have a lot of chemtrails spraying to the southeast. And that is preventing the precipitation in uh, uh, Southern California and also Central California, there's a zero precipitation showing up on the maps, on the uh, uh, Doppler map. And we'll try to get a full update here today. That hurricane is approaching. It's, it's uh, scheduled to be steered over, over the uh, Arizona area uh, by uh, Monday, Tuesday. And we're watching that carefully. Uh, the flat spots we were watching on the uh, on the maps, on the water vapor and the uh, IR map, uh, tell us that that storm was being manipulated. It's being steered, and of course the uh, the blast patterns, all that is indicative of man-made uh, manipulation. So we've got the chemtrail spraying going on. We can see that that gray haze out the background. That's not natural. Those are chemical aerosols uh, designed to uh, lower the uh, relative humidity. And that uh, caps the atmosphere and prevents the precipitation. Right here we have a band of natural clouds. And we have some uh, winds, uh, some steady winds being uh, generated by this approaching weather system. We also have high pressure being installed. If we look around the rest of the uh, LA basin, there just is no clouds. There's not a cloud anywhere. Panning around back to the uh, southeast. Uh, Keep an eye on this and I'm going to get a full update uh, here today after this. We see these natural clouds here in the foreground and then we have the chemical aerosols in the background. And that is going to prevent the uh, precipitation. We had a forecast for rain for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here just a couple of days ago the, the forecasts are changing all the time. These people uh, trying to forecast the weather uh, that have no clue about this manipulation. They're going around in circles because they have no uh, hard data to work with. It's uh, you know, a, co a conventional weather theory does not apply. So that's why these forecasts are constantly changing. Okay, that's it. We'll do a full update later.